hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'm showing you guys how i did this curly up to on my natural hair it turned out really cute so i'm starting off on freshly washed conditioned hair i let my towel absorb majority of the water in my hair so i left that on about 15 20 minutes because this hairstyle uses a ton of gel i don't like using gel on my hair when it's soaking wet so i let my hair get either a little damp or dry before i start styling it um so right now i am making my part for my swoop this was supposed to be a another hairstyle actually it was just supposed to be a up to with a swoop which i had done a few weeks ago and it turned out so cute so i wanted to show you guys but my swoop did not turn out well my swoop was too small so i had to improvise and figure something out when i took my hair down so right now i'm just making my swoop once i get my swoop all positioned i put my hair up into my ponytail to start working on slicking my ponytail down and I'm gonna be using the extreme gel this hairstyle uses a ton of gel in order to get my hair super super slick it would be better if I use really really small sections to slick it down but because my hair is so thick I'm not gonna do all of that so I'm just going around the perimeter of my hair and slicking down my hair and taking my brush I think this is just a wave brush it's double-sided where one side is more firm and the other side is more soft so I'm using both sides to brush everything down and kind of bring out you know my waves and everything like that so once I get everything pretty much slicked down I am going to put my hair in ponytail using my scrunchie and for the rest of the hair that's left out in my ponytail I'm going to go in in smaller sections comb it out and plait it up because the ends of my hair are straighter especially towards the top of my hair I plait my hair up and put rollers on the end of it so it can all have a uniform curl when I take it down and then I'm starting to work on my swoop and using the same gel to gel down my swoop and comb it out um, this part didn't really matter because I changed up my swoop anyways but that's what I'm doing now and brushing that down to make that smooth and molded Once I get everything slicked down the way I want it, I'm gonna take my scarf and put that on. My hair really needs, in order for my hair to mold the way it needs to, I have to let my hair sit under my scarves overnight or at least a few hours. And then I'm gonna take the, the Dew Mousse, which I said in another video I really don't like, but it's what I have, so I'm going to take some of that and put it on the ends of my plaits that I have and take some perm rods and roll that up so it can mold overnight. The next day, when I took my hair down, my swoop was messed up, so I did a middle part with my two bangs and put these flexi rods in. Didn't turn out well, so I had to wash the front section of my hair and take my blow dryer and my flat iron to get this straight and I'm gonna take my curling wand to curl it and make some loose curls loose waves that frame my face because those flexi rods were just not it and I had to go to work I was like rushing I was like, I have to figure something out. So I'm just taking my wand and wanding it. I 
after I wanted it, I did pin my pin the sections up into pin curls. Huge mistake if you do this style, don't do this because it just turned out horrible, which you'll see <laughs> in a minute, another mistake, but I fixed it. But now I'm gonna take down my um, my perm rods and my plaits and separate them, fluff it out, and take some bobby pins to really pin it down and shape my updo in the way that I want it to be so it has some volume and it's pretty uniform the way I want it. And then now I'm going to take down my pin curls look messed up again so instead of just going over it again which I really didn't feel like doing because I didn't want to keep on putting a ton of heat on it I just stretched it out and they eventually fell throughout the day the next few hours so all in all it turned out cute I just stretched it out for a bit so this is the finished look I think it turned out pretty cute considering the struggles that I went through with it but this is it let me let me know if you guys like this hairstyle leave a comment down below please like the video and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video bye